Hey, what's up guys? Klein here. So for today, we're gonna look at the contents of the Starter Deck 01 for Build Divide, The Witch Who Loves in Jet Black. Okay, so let's start with opening our trial deck. So as I've said before, this is the very first trial deck for Build Divide. This is The Witch Who Loves in Jet Black. So this is actually the trial deck for the protagonist on the anime. If you guys have watched the anime, so yeah, this is the deck of um, this is her name again. Um, this is the deck of Bloom the Soul Gambler. Okay, so it took me some time to open it because the scotch tape is so hard to remove. Um, so yeah, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, more tapes. Okay. All right, so let's put this aside for now. Let's see at the contents. So the starter deck has its um, like a rule book, like a basic rule book. It's in Japanese, so I really can't read Japanese. Um, next is, oh, we have a free play mat. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we do have a free build divide play mat, so as you can see, there is the field, um, the energy zone where you put your energy cards. Well, basically all of your cards will be considered as energy resources. Um, next is the territory, um, your territory card. You have your deck and of course our life zones. We have the uh, yellow and red life zone. We have the remove zone. Um, I think this is like the banish zone or the exile zone for other card games and we have the graveyard or the trash so yeah that's it for our playmat now let's look at the contents itself okay so now i have removed the cards from the plastic and the cards were actually um stuck together that's why i had to manually separate them one by one and yeah let's move on to our um our unboxing we got the territory card of bloom as you can see, we have the image of Bloom at the back. So this is called the Cas Casino of Doom, I think. Yep, it's called the Casino of Doom. So this is the very first territory on the anime. Okay, next up is um, the ace unit herself. We got uh, Bloom the Soul Gambler. So we, um, every starter deck, I think we should have one parallel art. I mean the parallel rarity here in build divide only means um it has a different kind of foiling so this has some kind of foiling while the other um the other three blooms doesn't have any foiling so we have a total of four copies of bloom per starter deck right yep so four copies of bloom Next are the um, four copies of Liver Liverworth Deadbrook. So this is a really good um, removal card because its effect is whenever you place this unit, if you have your territory faced up, all of your opponent's unit gets minus 6,000 power. I'm pretty sure you guys are quite familiar with, with Liverworth in the anime. So four copies of Liverworth. One, two, three, four. Um, next we have two copies of Partial Dealer. So partial dealer is like um, a three cost vanilla unit for the black archetype. So we got two copies of that. Next is one of my favorite cards on this trial deck. We got Rhizome the Black Knight. So this is a really good, uh, really, really powerful card simply because if you have your um, territory up, this gets plus 3k power, which means it's at 9,000 power. Um, and as a bonus, it has a decoy ability. So in Build Divide, if your um, unit has a decoy ability, if its unit is on rest, your opponent's, you, your opponent's unit um, is forced to attack this unit first before attacking anything else. So this is like um, a forced blocker in a sense for Build Divide. So a 9000 forced blocker is a really, really good card for me. So four copies of those. Okay, um, up next, this card is called um, so Frida Deep Assault uh, Trishula. So, this is like um, 
a hard hitting um, unit because uh, first of all it has uh, two hits which means you get to attack your um, opponent's life zone twice um, as well as its effect is I think it gives you scout effect so the scout effect is like a scry effect if you're familiar with Magic the Gathering so this uh, unit uh, whenever you play this I think you get to scry 3 scout 3 so two copies of those okay next card is Vienna the Battle Engineer another blue card so um, this is simply a draw discard effect um, for for this trial deck so I think two copies as well yep okay next up is a very important card I think this is one of the staple cards on every deck we got um, uh, we got Nadia Heavenly Sniper Brahmadatta so this card's effect is whenever you play her it doesn't matter if you have a territory um, flipped up or not you get to draw one card so this is like a really really good unit because it anything that draws you card is is a really really good card so two copies of those oh only two copies of nadia so we actually have to buy two starter decks huh okay <laughs> that's so bad we got okay next up is capital breaker so this is a simple removal for this deck um it deals eight damage to your opponent's unit so that's four copies right yep four copies okay next is um what is this guy's name so this is armament supply oh okay so this is just like a buff um buff command spell um so choose one of the following um units i, I mean choose one of the following effects um the first one is target one unit and it gets plus 2000 power or target one unit with a total cost of five or less um, and it gets minus one hit so you can either use this um, like for example as a, as a surprise buff to your unit or you can debuff one of your opponent's units so we get four copies of those okay okay next card here we got oh, what's this guy's name we got hard luck craps okay so hard luck crafts, uh, target one unit uh, for the rest of turn gets minus 3000 power. Okay, that's not so bad. So this is a simple debuff for for the black archetype. So two, okay, two copies of hard luck crafts. Next is we got the giant, giant hawk. Okay, so giant hawk is the four cost of vanilla four blue. So it has 5000 power, not much to say anything about it. Okay, next up is um, something bad. Xenos, the one who stares. So in Build Divide, um, the most important thing on every game is for you to activate your territory. So there are two ways uh, for now in Build Divide to activate your territory. So for uh, one of those is um, by playing your AC unit. So in this deck, it's going to be Bloom the Soul Gambler. And next up is every color has this um, unit wherein it can also activate your territory for paying an extra cost. So for black, it is Xenos, the one who stares. So by playing this for five costs, you can actually um, activate your territory even without uh, playing your Bloom Soul Gambler. So yeah, it's a really good card as well. Two copies, oh, four copies, that's nice. Okay, and last i think this is the last card we got uh the one of the best removals on the game this is like the straight up remove your opponent's unit this is called the cursed trump card so cursed trump card nothing much to say uh, destroy target one unit um it might be as short as destroy target one unit but it's one of the best um, removals on the game so yeah four copies i think yeah four copies and that's it for today's video guys if you love the content if, if and if you want to see more build divide or other tcg contents please don't forget to subscribe to the channel i also have a facebook page at saberkline and i guess that's it for today i'll see you next time peace out